Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read. We're going to talk about Thursday, January 5th, 2023. I do want to thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you as always, this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So you know what to do, just take what resonates. And I do more than appreciate the likes, comments, and subscriptions if you haven't done so already. But I pre-pulled the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so it's a day of hard work. It's a day of putting in effort towards what you wish to see successful. I do feel as if Spirit's reminding you you're about to give birth to something new, okay? Uh, but needing to be honest in regards to uh, if that opportunity is right for you, okay? Um, however that ends up working for you, that could be um, a chance to date somebody. It could be uh, a new job. It could be a business opportunity, however it works for you. Let's keep pulling. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So it's a day where we're highlighting um, the beginning of what's right for you, potentially, or just an option to consider. But Spirit's also saying that um, all the meanwhile, you are able to manifest more than meets the eye at this time in the eyes of others, okay? Um, you're able to uh, even co-create with Spirit more than you realize so if something doesn't feel right then don't go for it period okay but i do feel this sort of pure and uh i want to say innocent uh but experienced vibe vibe about you excuse me when producing developing getting done what you need to putting yourself uh or your work out there into the universe but naturally with the nine of pentacles it's a day where your independence your I want to say strength and your uh, perseverance is taking a highlight. I feel that people don't fully see the fact that you have to overcome more than meets the eye, okay? Um, or just all that you've overcome up until this point along your path. But I truly feel like your passions are coming into play, okay? Um, your, again, resilience and uh, abilities, talents taking a highlight. And I sense that there's just a sunny vibe about you or just a very... Um, kind of forceful, honest way about you. I'm getting the judgment card in my mind's eye. What else do we have? Flopping onto the ground, the chariot. The chariot, I do feel as if you may begin the day with a lack of motivation and then you just kind of snap into it, okay? Or you just find that motivation coming into to place and getting a lot accomplished, all right? Spirit's saying, if you can, Try to accomplish as much as possible at a reasonable, comfortable pace um, early on in the day, if I could even say it, early on in the day, because I do sense that even if you start off with a lack of motivation um, and gain that motivation as you make your way through the beginning stages of the day, um, towards the end, it will start to dissipate, okay? There's th that distinct possibility, but I do feel as if this is a day where you're being shown true evidence that your motivation to, to keep going, to overcome, to succeed, to accomplish is paying off all the meanwhile. Because underneath it all, we have the Three of Cups, okay? Reasons to celebrate. I do feel as if Spirit's saying, if you feel the need to, treat oneself at the end of this day, okay? Or at a certain point when you finish or wrap up what you need to. But it feels like you make a significant dent in what needs to be accomplished. If not, you put a bow on, wrap it up, right? Finish what uh, feels like a project or just a list of tasks. It's going to vary from case to case, from beautiful soul to beautiful soul. But it is a very um, productive day, to say the very least. Um, I feel as if uh, you could be hearing back from a company that wants you to join them. Um, wants to meet with you, sit down with you. It could be more in regards to um, people reaching out to try to invest in you or work with you for your business. I do feel like people are seeing you as somebody who's going places. And it's a Thursday that highlights just that. Okay, not just that, but that to say the, the very least. Now, I do feel like with two aces, Spirit's saying um, there's a fresh vibe about this day. But I do feel like um, you are feeling a bit burnt out, even though that passion is just seeping from your pores, coming through with all the words you uh, get across, convey. Um, but I do feel like it's a very, a, a very abundant day, to say the very least, all right? And you're being shown the way towards more abundance for oneself. 
just because you uh, once experienced a level of abundance in a different kind of situation um, or a similar one doesn't mean that this one won't work out for you, however that works for you. Look at that, a third ace. Wow, out of the four. Um, so don't be surprised with the Ace of Swords if you end up gaining clarity on what's right for you, on how an opportunity will uh, pan out or not, um, on the future of a situation. It could be given its Mercury retrograde, you could be gaining clarity um, or just some, yeah, a better understanding in regards to a past situation or two that didn't work out. I feel like there are flashbacks throughout this day that don't feel amazing, but come to be either way. But Spirit's reminding you everything's purposeful, okay? Um, we get that you don't fully see how things are meant to unravel, at least not 100%. Um, but you will feel, again, more so clear in regards to whatever that is for you um, by the end of this day. And even more so in the upcoming days. We have the Hermit as well as the Knight of Pentacles. Now, regardless of how your passions are coming through, how you're putting that to use, what you're getting accomplished, moving quite slowly, okay? And I feel like this is purposeful. Spirit's saying there's absolute, absolutely, excuse me, absolutely no need to rush, all right? And I feel as if this will even benefit what you're working towards, accomplishing, getting done, checking off your list. Um, and I do feel like the alone time throughout this day, which could potentially be the majority, if not the full day for a lot of you, uh, it feels quite comforting, okay? Spirit's reminding you throughout this day as well that you're a true leader, okay, in your own individual way, period, period. Um, I do feel as if we should pull some, I'm gonna pull one of these for the top from the Mystic Mondays. The Nine of Pentacles again, okay, again. And the Six of Pentacles, as well as, okay, the Five of Cups, part of you ex is expecting the worst. Try to do your best. I know it's Mercury retrograde and all, but you need to separate what took place in the past, especially with different situations or one in particular. Separate it from what you're about to begin considering um, or continuing at this time, okay? Uh, even if it's a similar, the same situation um, in comparison to uh, past days, times, a different chapter within that same situation. Does that make sense? Because this is a time where we need to have a fresh mindset and recognize 1000% and remember the past is the past and it prepared us and it helps us with what we're dealing with at this time and moving forward. But it doesn't speak upon the potential of what's at hand, okay? Um, but I do feel like it's a day that reminds you that things are falling into place. And I just feel like there's a lot of um, progression. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of growth taking place, communicating to say the very least. All right, let's pull one more for the other side. Another Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups again, okay? You don't get that twice in one uh, reading if it doesn't, um, happen to be a day where there's more than one reason to celebrate but the number 33 is well coming into play look up that angel number meaning i do feel as if you could get a little bit annoyed throughout this day at a certain point um but it's very brief i do remember speaking upon something of the sort uh more so labeled frustration in uh wednesday's reading but it is a very successful day to say the very least all right it feels quite um quite rewarding in certain ways and just very focused. Each energy drawn to this reading, focused on what you want to accomplish, focused on bettering one's future and just also a bit of a highlight at certain points on improving one's habits, way of living, day-to-day -day, day -day routine, excuse me, um, to live a healthier lifestyle. We predict that things are about to get busy for you, okay? Even more so than they are now, just a different kind, whether that's more so due to a new opportunity being added to your plate, um, things just picking up in speed and uh, getting busier, right? People wanting to invest in you, but I just feel like um, you're going to need to prepare for that stage of this chapter or that next chapter for oneself by, again, tweaking your habits, your way of going through your day-to-day -day routines, 
and getting things accomplished in a very healthy, strategic, productive manner. Does that make sense? Um, and the Spirit's saying what you went through in the past, right? It's going to feel different once again. It's going to feel different as much as this Mercury retrograde is absolutely highlighting and potentially bringing back the past in certain ways. Your future is so much brighter, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your Thursday and I'll see you next time.